Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Putri Randini I'm from TV Tracy And in this video is dedicated for my final test In this video, I will explain about Ibnu Khaldun About his biography And then about his works of paper And then the last is about his stuffs Well, let's get started The Biography of Ibn Khaldun Ibn Khaldun was the history philosopher and the greatest scholar of his time, one of the greatest thinkers ever born. He was the founder of sociological science who typically distinguished how to treat history as science and gave reasons to support real events. He was born on May 27, 734 Hydria in Tunisia of the Spanish Arabic family. Ibn Khaldun is known as the historian and father of Islamic sociology who memorized the Quran at an early age. His journey was filled with events, wanderings, and changes with a number of great achievements. Ibn Khaldun is prominent figure in Islamic education. Ibn Khaldun's view of education differed from that of Al-Ghazali in particular to the purpose of education. According to Al-Ghazali, the only goal of Muslim Islamic education was to get closer to God, whereas Ibn Khaldun argued that the goal of Islamic education was developed by obtaining rizki. From the position he granted and the wanderings brought forth a number of thoughts that prevalently affected the Western and Eastern intellectuals of both Muslims and non-Muslims in history, politics, economics, education, and philosophy. From the long story of Ibn Khaldun, it can at least be grouped into the three most important periods of time. First is the period during which Ibn Khaldun demanded various files of science, that is, he studied Quran, Tafsir, Hadith, Usul Fiqi, Tawhid, Fiqi, Mazhab Maliki, Nahw and Sorof, Balagho, Physics and Mathematics. Second, Ibn Khaldun divide into the political field and several affairs important state position, such as Qodi al Qudot, the paramount judge. However, for the slander of his political opponents, Ibn Khaldun was sent to prison for a time. Third, Ibn Khaldun gets out of prison. Ibn Khaldun concentrates on research and writing. Ibn Khaldun is a writer. The work of Ibn Khaldun has many details, such as the Mantik, the summary of Ibn Rushdi philosophy, also about Fiki, Arabic literature, and arithmetic. Here are some works of Ibn Khaldun. First is At Tarif bi Ibn Khaldun, an autobiography, a record from his history. Second, The Book of Al Ibar, seven volumes, that became Al Ibar Wadi Manu. Mubtada awil kabar fi ayamil Arab wal ajam wal barbar wa man asarhum min zawi sultan al akbar third lubab al muhassal fi usul ad-din a book on issues and technological opinions fourth muqaddimah contains talks on social symptoms government and political systems in communities economics in individuals societies and states human symptoms at the influence of geographical and pedagogical and scientific factors and their tools. The Tawfs of Ibn Khaldun Perspective The understanding of education, according to Ibn Khaldun, is knowledge and skill as well as its realistic aspects of the work for getting risky toward a more developed society in accordance with individual trends. Ibn Khaldun's view of education is not blind to the realities of society. His experience, wanderings, and life events, one's experience are the basis for formulating a grounded educational formulation. As a sociologist, Ibn Khaldun is always oriented by the realities of societies. According to him, it was always a dynamic according to the culture of the people so that the development of the people was tough through and affected them automatically. It can be seen from the educational formula which is first, 
provides a great opportunity for the mind to work because optimizing work of the mind begets the maturity of individuals who then benefit from society. Second, acquire first knowledge as a tool to help socialists in cultural societies. Third, got a job that was used to earn a risky. The plainness of Ibn Khaldun in reading social realities has led to a more realistic formula of education for the necessities of life. If we draw on the state of Islamic education in the Muslim personality, in San Kamil or Taqwa, while Taqwa is something that can't be measured, it can be seen from the opinion at Tia al abrashi that Islamic education is the right education of Muslims is not filling the brains of protests with all sorts of science that they have not yet known. Achieving perfect moral objectives is the real goal of education. Ibn Khaldun also urges that his quest for knowledge was to enable humans to understand the various aspects of knowledge he viewed as a tool to help him live well in a developer a cultured society. Well, that's all from me. Sorry for the mistakes. Thank you for attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.